next band is an active band. We in this band aim to procline the teeth, to move them forward. We are not discussing here if this is a good treatment modality, if you prefer in your cases to do proclination, but in case you decide to do proclination, how we do it. So one of the ways is with this mushroom band that we have created before, which was passive, we can make this mushroom band between cuspid and premolar to become active. How it become active? If we make this band more close to the middle of the premolar. Now when we make it close to the middle of the premolar, when we will push it forward and tie it, we will get proclination in the wire. You will see it in the hands-on demonstration coming after this slide. Uh, the second band is a proclination band. First of all, as you can see, uh, it's a matter of treatment decision uh, when we want to do proclination, where the proclination uh, is going to occur. If the posterior part looks quite nice and we want to procline the teeth from cuspid to cuspid, then I will create my stop between the cuspid and the premolar. How do we do it? I take the wire, I place it in the anterior part, and I mark my uh, mark on the wire in the middle of the premolar. Okay, not between uh, these two teeth, not close to the premolar, but in the middle of the premolar. Then I do the same in the other side, in the middle of the premolar. I hope you can see the two signs. Now, I take again the light wire, which is probably the most used plier in my clinic, and I go to the band, to the sign, and I make again my mushroom band. The same, I look for the sign. So I have now <clears throat> almost the same wire we have bended before, which is the mushroom um, wire. But now this is not a passive wire, this is an active wire. Because when you put the wire now, and I have exaggerated a little bit, but if you put the wire now, with the stops mesial to the premolar, as probably I will put in the mouth, you see what happens now to the front of the, of the wire. The wire gets a shape of the new position of all the front teeth. Now the front teeth will be located around the um, most protruded central incisor. So in that way I can get space because all of them will be aligned on a, a bigger arch. I will pro most probably get some side effects. Side effects can be rotation of the premolar because the wire lean on this premolar. And I can get some uh, exaggerated force on these centrals and therefore this band 
recommended to be uh, to do on a very very flexible wire such as 0 0.012 or 0 0.14 uh, nickel titanium which will uh, give very minimal force same can be done of course for upper arch you can see here this is for minor proclination I can of course bend a new wire for this upper arch a second option of an active bend is to do proclination from the back pushing everything to the front. How we can do it? We can create a stopped arch near the premolar creating a small loop more close to the middle of the molar. Not between premolar and molar but more close to the middle of the premolar so when we push the wire in the slots we will get proclination of the wire which will push all the front teeth forward. You will see it now in the hands-on demonstration. Another option as we um, said can be to try to push all the teeth forward not just the front segment but all the teeth in a manner of a stopped arch. So you can see here the mushroom uh, passive wire that I <clears throat> bended before and now I want to make sure that all the segment between 5 to 5 will be pushed forward. So what I will do now is take the wire, place it a little forward then I will go to the mesial of the molar and do a mark. And same I will do here and I do a mark. Now, there are two ways that we can do this bend. One is with this nice plier that I've shown you in the beginning of the lecture. And this plier will create for you automatically this stop, as you can see here. You can choose different sizes of this bend according to the steps you have here in the plier and the other option you can see here that if I place the band mesial to the molar then the wire the whole wire is pushed forward the second option will be if you don't have this plier make the band vertically down change the position of your hand around side of the plier bend it back now we got the loop and all we need to do now is bend the wire now back to the same level Of course, the plier, the design plier made uh, this band more elegant than this one, but they both do the same uh, work. So if you place now the wire with these two stops, you can see the amount of proclination that we can get. Thank you and I would love to see you in my next movies. Bye.